Hi, I'm Dr. Mario Harrow, and in this supplementary video to go along with my article in Clavier Companion Magazine, I want to take you a little bit behind the scenes on how I create some of the online video lesson content for my piano students here at Stephen F. Austin State University. Here's a look at the equipment that I use to create my online video lesson content here in my studio. Number one is Yamaha Disc Clavier Piano, although if I'm creating videos at home, then I use my Yamaha NU1 hybrid piano, which also has technological capabilities. And that is attached to my MacBook Pro computer sitting on top of the piano, which is running Classroom Maestro so that students can visualize what I'm playing on the virtual keyboard and also on the staff if necessary. And finally, I have a camera mounted on above me with a microphone stand and that's a Logitech C920 webcam so that students can get a bird's eye view of my hands at the piano keyboard. So when I'm ready to chord I launch ScreenFlow. I can go ahead and click configure recording here and I, if I want to record the contents of my desktop I can check this box here and select the source which is the color LCD. The video, I can record a video simultaneously at the same time. You could either choose the FaceTime built-in camera on your uh, computer or I also have the camera mounted above me so then they can see my hands at the keyboard like so. Record the audio from my built-in microphone or you can choose another microphone source if you want to. For this one I don't think I need any re uh, recording of the computer audio so I'm going to leave that unchecked but you can also if you want to capture some computer audio and then we have this big red record button and when you're ready to go you can, there's even a recording monitor if you want to double check your uh, uh, make sure that your screen or camera is framed the way that you want it to there I think that's good enough for right now and I'm gonna click on the red record button it's gonna give me a countdown in five four three two Hello piano students, in today's video I want to show you how to play the D major scale in the right hand and it goes like this in one octave. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. And then backwards it goes. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. And then after I'm done recording, I go ahead and click Stop Record. After I've clicked Stop Record, it launches the ScreenFlow application window. You'll notice there's a timeline here at the bottom that has two elements to it. One is the screen recording of, my, uh, of what we just did here a second ago. And then the other one is the uh, video and audio from the camera that is mounted above the keyboard here. First thing that I do is I resize the canvas area by clicking on this icon here. It says 1280 by 800 as the resolution but you want to try to pick a resolution that is more friendly to most web standard formats and also television sets like 1280 by 720 is a good one to do. Now you'll have to resize all the different elements and it's pretty easy to do here in ScreenFlow. Like for example, if I want to resize my screen recording, I can click on that and then I can hold down shift and pull the handles down to resize it so that it just fits right in the screen like so here, okay? I can even crop off different elements here. Like for example, I don't necessarily need uh, to see my max menu bar so I push down control and hold down the top handle and pull that down like so and that way it's all clean just like so. I don't even need this staff here because all I was teaching was the scale fingerings so I can do the same thing here. I push control on the bottom hold that down and then pull the handle up here and then if I want to resize this keyboard to whatever I want it to be here I can just hold down shift again and then make it as big as I want here. And there we go. Now the keyboard's at the top of the page, like I, or screen, I should say, like I want. I can even do the same thing with my uh, hands at the keyboard. 
So I can drag that to the middle here. Maybe I don't necessarily need all this stuff here. You don't necessarily need to see my lap like so. And I can make that bigger by again holding the shift key and pulling it out like so. And that way I have nice keyboards lined up like so there. All right. uh, yeah, I think that will probably do. Well, let me make sure that's centered here. There we go. And then when I go ahead, I can click play to see how they all work in together. Hello, piano students. In today's video, I want to show you how to play the D major scale in the right hand. And it goes like this in one octave. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. And then backwards it goes. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. So if I want to reinforce that with some text, I can kind of find out where I start playing. You can see the audio waveforms shows where I start playing. And then on the top right of the screen, screen flow window, there's a text icon and I can add text by clicking on this plus button. Notice that it adds another uh, layer to my timeline, like so. And then in this text box, I can write in right hand, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and then five, like so. If I want to choose a different font, I can go, I don't know what my favorite is these days, Avenir, next condense there. I can make it bold, like so. That looks a little bit big though, so I can change that to something like that. And I can drag that down here below where I think I was playing so they can follow along. I can even change the colors of it here, like if I want to change the one, two, three grouping, so they chunk it out like that. I can say that's green, and then the one, two, three, four is blue, and then maybe make the five red, and then you could see how long do you want the text. I want it to go all the way till where I get done playing, so I'm going to go ahead and click that handle and drag it all the way to the end. And then this is how I come up with my video here. I don't have to play through the whole thing. I'll just go through here. D major scale in the right hand. And it goes like this in one octave. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. And then backwards it goes. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. And then I can also crop off all this other stuff at the edge here. All I do is mark an in point here and then go ahead and click ripple delete. There's also a keyboard shortcut of command uh, delete and that will delete everything at the end there. So now I have a nice 27 second demonstration video of how to play the D major scale in the right hand. I can export that. Um, or I can even publish it directly to YouTube, Vimeo, Google Drive, Dropbox, Facebook. Export is what I usually do so then I have a copy on my own um, hard drive. I like to use the Apple TV setting so it's friendly to both mobile devices such as iPhones and iPads but it also is high enough resolution that you can watch it on a big screen TV if you want as well. So I usually find the best results with really nice small file sizes as well. And then all I need to do is um, title that D major scale right hand. And I go ahead and click export. And then it exports it for me to a file format that is real friendly. So I hope that gives you some good ideas and helps you out in creating your own online piano lesson video content. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. You can find me on various social networks such as Facebook, Twitter, and also LinkedIn. And also check out my videos on YouTube. And uh, don't forget to check out the rest of the articles in Clavier Companion. If you're not subscribed to Clavier Companion, make sure you check them out at ClavierCompanion.com. Bye.